Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 10th of July 1553, Lady Jane Grey was proclaimed Queen of England after her first cousin once removed, the 15-year-old King Edward VI, died of an unknown respiratory problem. However, the Privy Council proclaimed Edward's older sister Mary as Queen just nine days later and imprisoned Jane in the Tower of London. She was tried on charges of high treason, found guilty and beheaded the following February. The third act of succession was passed by Parliament during the reign of Henry VIII in July 1543 and restored Henry's daughters, Mary and Elizabeth, to the line of succession after his son Edward and any children that he might have. Jane was the grandniece of Henry VIII through her grandmother, Mary Tudor, Queen of France, who was Henry's sister. The third act of succession stated that the throne would pass to her line if his own children did not have any descendants. Despite all Henry's planning, Edward VI chose to restrict the succession further. As the 15-year-old lay on his deathbed, he nominated the Protestant Jane Grey as his successor, rather than his older Catholic sister Mary. Historians disagree over how much influence Edward's chief minister, John Dudley, Duke of Northumberland, and the father of Jane's husband, Lord Guildford Dudley, actually had on this decision. Whatever the role of Northumberland in the succession, when he left London after Edward's death to intercept Mary, the Privy Council switched their allegiance and proclaimed Mary as Queen on the 19th of July. Parliament declared Jane a usurper, and she was found guilty of treason for having signed documents as Jane the Queen. Thank you.